Thanks to President Trump, the issue of attorney-client privilege is something that's now being talked about and discussed in the media and among different people. Most people have heard of it and probably most people have a general understanding of what it is, but few people really understand how it works. Uh, and more importantly, they don't understand what some of the exceptions are. Frankly, most lawyers don't give it much thought until something happens or something comes up, uh, like the issue with uh, President Trump's lawyer. In basic terms, <clears throat> the privilege means that anything that is said during the course of representing a client between the client and the lawyer is protected. It means the lawyer can't uh, talk about it with somebody else. Uh, and can't be forced to, to disclose or divulge what a client told them. Like most things, uh, there are certain exceptions. And in the case of, in the news now, one of those exceptions is the crime fraud exception. Uh, in basic terms, that means that you can't go in and tell your lawyer that you're about to commit a crime or you're planning on committing a crime uh, and expect that to be privileged. There may be an obligation, depending on the type of offense, to disclose that uh, and to report you. A lawyer can't also jump on board with the client and get involved in criminal activity and expect that to be privileged. Um, Sometimes we've seen that where lawyers have gotten involved in some kind of scheme to defraud or even drug activity. Um, those sort of things are not privileged. Uh, for the most part, the privilege applies to not only a lawyer, but to experts and to people hired by a lawyer. And most lawyers are careful to make sure uh, their experts and their witnesses know that. For example, if you have a psychiatrist or a psychologist working with you and evaluating your client, um, whatever that client says is protected and, and a prosecutor can't find that out. Like most things, the privilege can be waived and a client can waive a privilege in a number of different ways, uh, but they can also openly waive it and allow their lawyer to talk about what was said. So that's the basics. Uh, the purpose of the privilege is to ensure that a client and a lawyer uh, have complete open communication uh, and it's to encourage that because most people aren't going to talk openly about something if they think somebody's going to repeat it or, or to tell another person about it. Um, as a lawyer to do their job properly has to have all the information, uh, the good and the bad, and in criminal defense, especially the bad. There's nothing worse than to be sitting in the middle of a trial and all of a sudden have a witness start talking about something you've never heard of, uh, something your client just didn't want to tell you because it was bad or they thought maybe nobody would find out. So. As with most things, if you have any questions about that, uh, talk to a lawyer um, or reach out to us and we'll be happy to answer those.